thank you for joining us today and um, I'm sorry for the our last session I think it cut off before I finished my session I ran out of time on my video camera and uh, so I'm gonna pick up where I, I left off in our last session uh, I was started to read from Zechariah chapter 6 uh, and I was reading about the where the where the prophecy concerning the name of the Mashiach is found and it's found in Zechariah chapter 6 and we're going to start reading at verse 11. It says, Take silver and gold and make crowns and set them upon the head of Joshua, the son of Josedek, is what it says in the English translation. But if you're reading from the Hebrew the text, it would say, Take silver and gold and make crowns and set them on the head of Yahusha, the son of Yahusadek. Now, Yahusadek translated is Yahuwah, part of Yahuwah's name, which is Yahuwah. Sadek is the Hebrew for, word for righteousness. So this person referred to as Yahusadek is symbolic of, of course, our father, Yahuwah. He is our righteousness. He declared in the Tanakh that he was our righteousness. You'll find that in Isaiah and also uh, Yasha Yahu. Uh, Isaiah is, is his original, I mean, Yashayahu is Isaiah's Hebrew name. But you'll find that where he said that Yahuwah declared that he was our righteousness. So Yah Yahusadek is this, this man here, or the, the high priest Yah Yahusadek referred to here in this uh, book of Zechariah, is, uh, is carrying the name of, of course, you know, our heavenly father and his name being Yahuwah. And then Yahuwah Sadek is the word for righteousness. Now, it says that this, of course, this this here, this is prophetic of the Mashiach to come. And um, but it says, take silver and gold and take and make crowns and set them on the head of Yahusha, the son of Yahusadek, the high priest, and speak to him, saying, Thus saith Yahuwah of hosts, or Yahuwah of Yahuwah Sabah is what it would be in Hebrew, saying, Behold, the man whose name is the branch, he shall grow up out of his place, and he shall build the temple of Yahuwah. This is talking about the Messiah to come. This is talking about the Mashiach to come, that he would build the temple of Yahuwah, and that he is referred to as the branch. Now, the word branch here is uh, in Hebrew is Shemach, which is which is basically the is is where it's a messianic term referring and the meaning of it is to grow up or to grow out or he it's a reference to the Mashiach coming out of of uh, the loins of uh, of Jesse and and also out of you know the loins of David that he would be branch out and be the 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 prophesied Messiah Mashiach that was to come in fact. Uh, Yahusha mentioned this in the in the in uh, the book of Revelation in the last chapter, I believe, where he refers to himself as the offspring of David, and uh, the word the Hebrew word the branch. He is the branch, uh, is our English word that that's used there. But again, this is the messianic reference to the Mashiach. It's also used right here, and but the important thing is that is the the name of the Mashiach being Yahusha. Now. To prove this, if you have a uh, uh, Hebrew, Greek, interlinear Bible, and you look this verse up, now I've already mentioned to you before that the Maser the Masoretic text is what uh, most translations are translated from, and the Masoretics used vowel points around the Hebrew letters to change or to add to the pronunciation of Hebrew words. The problem with that is that it causes confusion. It causes confusion in the Mashiach's name, where a lot of people think that that this word here with uh, Yahusha in Hebrew, you'll see it as Yahushua, in some uh, in the uh, breakdown of that, because of the vowel points that have been added, there, that that would be the way it would be pronounced. And um, but without the vowel points, without you could take those off. And actually, uh, I use a blue letter Bible on my internet, on my computer, and translation where I can go in and you can take off the, uh, the vowel points around the letters there, 
where you can get just the, the Hebrew letters that are used and know what the actual uh, pronunciation would, would have been, which would have been Yahusha and not Yahushua. So, with that said, it's, this is the direct reference to who the Mashiach would be, a pr prophetic, uh, this is Yahuwah telling us what his name would be, because this is all uh, symbolic or a shadow of the, the, the Mashiach to come. And again, you, when you tie this into him being the uh, the son of Yehusadek. Now, this is important because he's not referred to as the son of Nun or Joshua the son of Nun or Yehusha the son of Nun. He's referred to as Yehusha the son of Yehusadek, which again is a reference to the Creator and him being our righteousness. And that's who the Mashiach would, would, uh, is foreshadowed here as being the son of uh, Yehusadek, or the son of righteousness. And then he's referred to in the book of Jeremiah, I believe it's chapter 23, that in his days, talking about the Mashiach, that he would be referred to as Yahuwah Sikadu, or Yahuwah, our righteousness. Oh, it's just a perfect picture if you can see how this is all tied in together and how the father's name is tied in with the son's name. And that uh, you can see as the, as the Mashiach said in John chapter five, I have come in my father's name. And he truly did. Um, thank you for your time today. These guys back here are giving me support. And uh, I just thought it made for a nice scenery. So I'm trying to get everything positioned here so you could see these aren't mine by the way, but uh, they're nice to look at. Um, and uh, thank you, and I'd appreciate it if you're being blessed and ministered to, let me know. Hit like, and so I know that there, you're out there listening and watching the, the, this, this teaching. We're going to do a whole lot more. We've got a lot to get into in our future sessions. We're going to get more into the Hebrew part and spend uh, some time there talking about the difference between Shua and Shah, because that's probably the, the main uh, conflict here is... Uh, most people use the ending of Shua, and it, and it does not mean salvation. If you look up the word, the, what the Hebrew of Shua is, it's Shua means to cry out. Uh, it also means, another meaning of it is uh, wealth or, or, or riches. But it's, it has nothing to do, really, in the root meaning of Shua. And to attach it to the Messiah's name, or, or Yahuwah's name, is just not right. Um, and we'll point this out and we'll share with you about that. And then you'll have confidence that the name that you are using. And by the way, when I started studying this, I, I first thought that the Mashiach's name was Yahushua. I even used it on some teachings like that. But, you know, I, I was learning like everybody else. And, and the more you dig into this, the more you study it, then uh, if, you'll, you'll, if you'll be diligent about it and you, and you hunger and thirst after to know the truth, Yahuwah will show you. And so we're just trying to be right about it. We're not trying to have our way or or to st stick to some kind of tradition or the way this is, we thought it was and this is the way we're gonna stay with it. We, we won't know the truth and I hope and, and, is, and assume that you're out there want the same thing. So I love you and I thank you for your time and we'll be back in our next session. It may not be today, but we'll try to get some maybe done tomorrow. Thank you.